Such a controversial set from people not happy with the castings chosen, maybe it needed a different name, people tired of car culture sets, even that Hatler should stop this segment, which I definitely don't agree on. I don't know, maybe they are right, let's check the cars and see how things really are. First out of the box and the one that most collectors consider it outsider, it's actually the one I enjoy the most, one that I was very excited about as soon as I saw it. The Golf is a very successful hatchback from Volkswagen, very known in Europe and especially in my country, with Mark 7 being released in 2012 and the Hatless version in 2016, designed by Mark Jones. I really enjoy the colors on it, those white rims fit very well, but even with all this excitement of mine, I do understand why collectors think it was a backup, because if you look at all the other castings in the set, this one doesn't really fit, not to mention that Germany is featured by two castings in the set. It has some cool releases in the mainlines, although the best versions are in the premium series, ones that I don't have yet in the collection. Although I enjoyed this one, Hartles made another variation which I enjoy more. The Golf GTI, based on the Mark V R GTI, with a mild body kit on, that just looks amazing in my eyes. That's why I have most releases from 2007 and 2019. I also have a variation of the Mark II in the collection, so what can I say, I just love Volkswagens. While in real life Golf has its 8th version and they have even gone electric, in the Hatless segments we definitely don't have enough of them. Debuting in the premium, coming from Japan, I bet nobody can be upset the Supra is part of this set, although I have seen some collectors having issues with this one as well. Diecast cars collecting in general is not a hobby where everyone can be happy all the time, but finding issues with this variation makes me doubt some people. It was released last year in the mainlines in that flame red color where it has also been a super treasure hunt and it was designed by Lindsay Lee. It's looking great with back details like tail lights and logos, pop up headlights and grill in the front, side lines with RSR suspensions logo and very interesting wheels. I can't understand what people have to comment negative about it but not to like or maybe I am missing something? When I first saw this one I was very positive this would be the highlight of the set and even the chase, but it's not and we will get to that one, probably one of the few times the JDM is not the best one of the set. We had Germany, Japan and this time Italy. There are many other interesting car manufacturers to choose from here, but Hot Wheels went with an Alfa Romeo, the one that is actually the chase of the set. It was released last year in the mainlines and I have both the red and the white variation from that year, I just didn't find the red one to show you. Designed by Fraser Campbell, this variation is very solid, stock red color, details on the back and front with the Alpha logo, a very good conversion to premium in my opinion. One issue collectors had with it comes from the choice of rims, the fact that it might have looked better with something else. Well, maybe they should have used the ones from the mainlines, the L4 that wore a premiere from Hot Wheels when this casting was released. Besides that, people love this casting, they loved the mainline releases, they love this variation and of course they love the chase in all black, just like most chases are. You will see going forward, but it's missing a country where many cool cars could have fit, so while I don't agree with anyone regarding the Golf, as it is right there on top for me, I definitely agree with them on having one country represented by two cars. There are so many other cars and countries that could have fit instead of this Audi, and the set is called World Tour, not Germany and others, so one car from five different countries would have been more appropriate. This Audi was released in 2021 and it had only appeared in premium sets, designed by Mark Jones and with many collectors not very happy about it either. There are other variations more interesting, although most are plain stock colors, just like this yellow one from the car culture Deutschland design, but also one that proves this S4 Quattro can be made interesting with liveries and logos, like this boulevard variation from last year. It is an Audi, it is part of a premium set so it has details, but it's what everyone noticed, it's kind of boring. The artwork on the cards is pretty interesting, on all of them, and even the castings themselves, just not in the set and what the theme supposed to be. While I would not change the Golf, I would definitely change this one and probably add a car brand from USA, Australia or even France. 
The last car of the set definitely surprised me, as when I hear Brazil, my mind always takes me to the magical football and great players like Ronaldo, Ronaldinho and Neymar, definitely not a Volkswagen. It was released in the mainland in 2011, making it the oldest casting in today's unboxing, designed by York Blyer and acting as a conversion to premium from the mainland where it had the same color variation. It looks very good with a custom front bumper, removed back bumper, roll cage, headlights and taillights and Volkswagen logo. Probably the only stock detail about it is the paint, that was going for the plain green without any artwork, liveries or other logos. As the name says, this Volkswagen is Brazil, built there, sold there, but it was made by a German manufacturer. Although it was released so long ago, it doesn't have that many variations and I only have one in my collection, Holiday Hot Rod from 2015, the year the last basic release of Brasilia happened. Collectors love this one, I have not even seen one person saying something bad about it or about the country chosen, so I guess that if Hot Rod made just a few changes, we could have had a perfect set. But maybe Hot Wheels did better choices regarding these sets, and you can check their case unboxings video by clicking on any of these links. I hope you enjoyed, subscribe to see more like this in the future, have fun collecting and enjoy the rest of your day.